what up though welcome to checkmate tv where we talk about family entrepreneurship real estate spirituality on this episode we are headed to my property down on uh, the west side of detroit to family flat that we're doing a complete rehab on so i'm gonna show you basically how uh, how it looks now and what I'm going to be doing to rehab it. I'll show you the location, the area. And you're going to ride along with me. Take this journey with me. So I'll see y'all in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Now, I purchased this particular property from Detroit Land Bank. family flat and if you don't know what two family flat is it's, uh, it's separated in two different homes so on the top we have two bedrooms one bath and on the bottom unit we have two bedrooms one bath and a uh, and a basement so we're going to full finish going to fully finish the basement to get a yeah, another bedroom down there and have a washroom for the tenants Detroit is being revitalized right now, so we are in the midst of rehab in this particular neighborhood where we have, in this neighborhood in particular, we have just two homes. I'm telling you about, we're going to go into one of them, we're going to drive by the other one, spend some time down here at this location. I haven't been down here in you know, this new year, 2021, so I'm pretty sure that I have a whole lot of debris and shit in front of the house, but you'll see when we get there what I'm talking about. So with that being said, as I always say, take this ride with me. Two doors in the front. They have 
have also two doors on the, on the side of the unit for access to the basement as well. Just like I said, we're going to turn the basement into a small apartment unit, one bedroom apartment unit. So in total, we're going to turn it into a basically a, a three unit, but for the purpose of paperwork, it is considered a two family flat. A lot of lot, lot of nice homes down here for for a good price. I would suggest you know, I'm talking about to get into real estate. And this is one of the areas, Detroit, that you can get into uh, real estate and rehab it yourself. You don't even have to hire a team. Find you one as little as uh, like I said, a thousand dollars, and you can do do the work yourself. Just find one that has minimum. Pairs. Majority of these units down here have wood floors. So refinishing the floors, no carpet pull up. In this unit, we have to do bedrooms, bathrooms. I have to do the floors in the bedrooms. So you can see, this is the main living room, fireplace right here. Come to a 
closet. Home was built, I believe, in 1927. This particular house is uh, 2,468 square feet. This is the door. So it's gonna be a complete rehab. This is the bathroom. And if I show you, I'm gonna throw a clip in here with the before of this bathroom. And shit was horrible. And it's, you, as you see, it's still it's still that way. But we gotta come in here and redo complete gut job. It's gonna be like it's like to be six thousand dollars for this bathroom. closet this goddamn ceilings and floors we finish the floors clean it out do the walls bedroom number two like I said Two bedroom, one bath. Lower unit, two bedroom, one bath. Upper unit. Floors need to be done. Ceilings need to be done. But what I come down here to do today is to do a, do my tools, scraping the floors, what my nephew was doing. Rest easy net. Famous Mar. He was very influential in helping me. Prepare this unit. And this is the basement. It's gonna be refinished. We started building out the the bedroom. This is where the wash room will be. This is the bedroom. The rest of the home is upstairs. Take you upstairs. This is the entrance to the basement that we're talking about. This is the upper unit. kitchen. Same as downstairs, this is the dining room. And 
the living room. As you see, still a lot of work to do. So like I said, it's full rehab. Full rehab. That's the entrance to the upper unit. So that's from two doors I was talking about in front. The one leads down there. It comes up here. The other one leads to the downstairs unit. This is in front of the house. I got shit in front of here. Let's see. It's a closet. Closet space. So yeah, we're gonna come down here, like I said. This is a complete rehab. My nephew uh, stripped this for me. What up, Belmar? This is our, <laughs> our little shit. It's bathroom one, same as downstairs. It's cleaner. Gonna do the tile on this shit. We're gonna reface this uh, tub. We do the floors, plumbing, like I said. It's bedroom number one. Now I'm about to go strap these boots on. I'm gonna strap these boots on, right? And get to work, so I gotta cut down some trees in the back. I'm gonna have to, uh, well, should you see? I'm about to do a little bit of cleaning, especially in the downstairs unit. It's a downstairs unit. That's a lot of work to do. Yeah. So this is what what I was talking about. This is a two family flat that you can get for what I paid. It's all together all in. It's about three thousand dollars or thirty thirty two hundred dollars. Kitchen. Outside, big ass yard. Take a lot to motherfucking uh, to mow that grass out there. So I pay a team, a company to come out and and do that yard for me. I'm gonna take you to the attic. Dope is I can if I could turn this into a loft. See, it looks like I gotta remove. That's a chimney right there. But yeah, this is the two family flat. Detroit West Side. Gonna strap my boots on and we about to get to cutting because I said it's work to do. So just so want y'all to see what we got. And I recommend, you know what I'm saying, using Detroit Land Bank. I heard some, some, some bad stories about Detroit Land Bank, but.
that's just all in the eyes of the beholder. You know what I mean? Now I'm headed outside. We're gonna cut some trees real quick. When it gets in my water. Get my ascension real quick. break time it's time to take these take these boys off real quick strap up I mean pause huh Yeah, well, they next door, but they like in between my, you know, our property and their property, but it's like five of these niggas over here. But I'm about to uh, cut these vines and stuff down because it was real bad in the summertime, you know. In the summertime, uh, these um, trees and shit, it, uh, it just be, yeah, that'd be a bit, the, yeah, it's a jungle back there. So I'm about to uh, trim this shit down, so. When spring comes. Oh, fuck. You know what? <laughs> I forgot the damn goggles, but it, it is what it is. I'm about to get to work, though. Cause I need to uh, Let's get some work done. down ain't no ain't no place like the D you know what I'm saying where else can you start with nothing such as the Big Sean came from the same west side and turn it up to another level so me like I said, I'm a felon, went to prison, you know what I'm saying? But that don't make or break who you become, you know what I'm talking about? Now I have a successful real estate company. My daughter and I and the family started a vending business. 
you know. I love this motherfucker. I love the D. I was born in LA, but I love the D. And this is uh this is where you can you can bubble. You know what I'm talking about? Alright, but back to the the, the method at hand. Well, the situation at hand, I just trimmed all the trees. Let me see this. That's why I had to throw my throw my work shit on real quick. I'm not done, because I just see uh, I gotta clear all these vines off the wires, even though it's about to be rewired. I gotta be take all these vines and shit out of here. Yeah, so I'll go back inside. We're gonna do some work inside. But like I said, you see this is a it looks all of 2,800 square feet, I know. You know what I'm saying? about these uh, old houses. Just gotta watch out for asbestos. And you know anything built pre-1978 and I just love the red. So you know have to paint everything. First time I came down here, fucking uh, big dumbass rat came from out of that little corner right there. Ran down the steps. I had to chase that motherfucker all the way to the to the room and get him up out of here. But we have to clean up. Crew will be down here on Monday. Today is Saturday. What's January, uh, shit, I can't remember, January 9th, 2021. So, I want you to follow me along, because this, this is going to be a little journey to get this complete rehab finished. You know what I'm talking about? Alright. What up, though? Alright, so again, this is uh, the Two Family Flat. I'm wrapping this up for this video. And sweat, you know. Show you the day in life of real estate entrepreneur. Like I said, that was an attic. We upstairs in the upper unit. This is the dining area. We're gonna take out all windows, replace all windows. We're gonna do the floors. Floors will be buffed and clean. The whole team will be in here. This is the living room, fireplace. The wall, the ceiling has been scraped, so they're ready to be plastered and painted. Walls as well, be scraped, painted. Windows replaced. It's called the shit in the D right now, so. If you're breathing hard, that's because it's only like 40 degrees right now, if that. 
Been working for about two hours, cleaning. And we're gonna transform, we're gonna paint. Uh, we're gonna make this like a neutral gray. Yeah, the walls neutral gray, ceiling's white. I haven't figured out the color for the kitchen yet, but I'm, I'm thinking white. If you got some suggestions, leave them in the comments because uh, this particular unit, I might do it like like the, we had the, we have another uh, two family flat uh, a few streets over. So what I did was it's basically the same, similar uh, configuration except the living area is on this side of the house as opposed to the bedroom. So it's like flip flop, it's completely opposite. But what we did was we made it a gray and white. We made this uh, almond. The dining room was almond. Uh, the bathroom was like uh, white. It's like a eggshell white. As well as the bedroom. So, you know, if you have any suggestions, just let me know. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm looking for some ideas you know, on this flip and a few other flips that we had. So in the bedroom. So as I said before, I'm gonna tear that down so that that garage is uh, not salvageable. It needs to be demolished, so we're gonna demolish that. I'd say place for windows. We do the floors. And for me, I'm just going to take you through this journey and let you know how my family flip properties. And this is, this is one of them. So we're going to do, like I said, a complete rehab on this unit. Total of four bedrooms, two baths, which is split into two, two family flat, that's what they call them in Detroit. And uh, gonna have this rehab in the next, I'm sure for the next six months, doing the uh, complete overhaul. So, oh, I was trimming the trees, so you see my hat, I got all for it. Uh, but, let you know I was working. You know what I'm talking about? I was working. What up, though? Check my TV. In this episode, I'm showing you how you can purchase you a property from Detroit Land Bank in a D. I get you a nice unit. You know, it's an auction, or you can buy as is. And uh, for me in particular, I bought a uh, two-family flat um, unit, two bedrooms upstairs, one bath, two bedrooms downstairs, one bath, and uh, it's a complete rehab. So I took you through the property, um, showed you that, you know, I'm going to do new floors, I'm going to replace the windows place the doors, refinish the floors, um, have to install new water heater, new furnace, you know what I'm saying, we can do all that for a reasonable amount. You can hire a team, which I'm doing, I did some of the work myself, me and my, my family, we cleaned this out because I'm going to throw some pictures in here, you know what I'm saying, so you can see what all we needed to do to get this this baby boy up to par. I'm uh, talking about this is uh it's been a journey as far as being a real estate investor because you never know what you're gonna run into. You know what I'm saying? There's all type of there's ups and downs. The money's good, don't get me wrong. The money, the money is turned up. You know what I'm talking about? I love the money. But what I do love even more is, you know what I'm saying, bringing uh, neighborhoods back to life. You know, some people may give up on things down here in the D, but 
me i'm from la I was born in, born in la but always adapted to my hustlers down here in the day been down here ever since uh came to michigan so back and forth you know what i'm saying and this is a, a beautiful thing the city is beautiful people you know what i'm saying yeah, and people's uh Ain't nothing like the D. Ain't nothing like, you know what I'm saying, all, all my all my comrades out here. Salute to all y'all. You know. I appreciate you watching the video. Peace and light. Thank God for another day, another video. I want you to see the sun shining. I'm all like, yeah, look at this shit. Take this. Oh, and I'm about to car wash. <laughs> And you're gonna hear some conversation. Listen to some conversation. You know what I'm saying? I love, I love this shit. You know what I'm saying? Where else, where else, where else in the motherfucking America can you get this? Real ass conversations. You know what I'm saying? You said fake ass too. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? Shit, you ain't gonna get that shit nowhere else. But no, well, I, I ain't gonna say that. But nigga, Westside Detroit, you know what I'm saying? This is how we do. Look at this. It's two family flat. Oh, yeah, I was working. Yes, yes, I was working. You know what I'm saying? I had to bring my. uh my, my vitamins with me, alkaline. You feel me? Let's go back out here to, to these people. You know what I'm saying, what the, what, what's on there? What's, what's, what type of time they on? I'm on their time right now. That's what I'm talking about. But as I said, you know, uh, I'm gonna put the link in the description. As far as uh, where you can go to uh, get you a property, if you're thinking about investing in, in in Detroit, you know what I'm saying, I would highly recommend it because you can get um, some really good properties down here for a reasonable price, and you can get you some resi residual income. You know what I'm saying, some income that can come in every month. So. If you're thinking about doing anything like that, I would highly suggest it. I mean, if you want to look, you know what I'm saying, want to learn a little something, you know, I'm open to, you know, sharing my videos with you. This is my little journey on my, with my family. Uh, we invest in real estate. We invest in vending machines. I'm on Bitcoin. I have stocks. You know, I'm, I'm a serial entrepreneur. I'm trying to do it all, but. Appreciate you watching the video. Until the next one, like I said, this is the rehab. Um, this is the full rehab on the west side of Detroit. To my two family flat, um, I wanted to take you and show you basically uh, what I do on a day in day out basis. And this is a day in the life of Checkmate TV. This is uh, episode three, and this particular episode is clean it up for the rear. All right. Until the next time, peace and light, God and goddesses, salute.